Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with Surfworks Art Labs. Welcome back to the Underground Laboratory, where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. We also create comics. This is the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge, where we spend 30 minutes a day, every day, for 100 days straight, working on our own personal pro com personal what personal comic book project. Uh, my personal comic book project is this one, Young and the Dead. It's a kids versus zombie story. It's in the spirit of Goonies. I think Goonies meets Night of the Living Dead, but it's Goonies, E.T., even Stranger Things, those type of things. That's what it's all about. It's available at circus.com. That's issue one. There is also an issue two and a three available. I'm working on issue four right now. And uh, so that's, that's what the challenge is all about. It continues to grow, and I'm so happy to see all the people getting involved into this challenge so it's getting harder to, to keep track of but you know hit me up in the comment section if you're taking the challenge let me know I'd like to check out and see what you're doing because I used to try to keep a list but it's way out of control now so anyway oh yeah so this uh, this project is has was started by Kevin Cross you, you can see this t-shirt right here uh, this is available up at his store. He's got a store too. Uh, but where are we with the challenge? We are at day, let's see, day 66. Like Order 66, remember that? Oh man, that brings back horrible memories of the Star Wars prequels. Sorry if you're a Star Wars prequel fan, but yes. 66, day 66. And oh, we got, we, we got mail. All right, so anytime you hear that chime, it's awesome because that means we've got some mail coming to us. And the way we get our mail here in the underground lair is through this tube system right here, the Vaculux right here, and let's see what we got. All right, what is this? This thing is like crammed in here good. Let's see what we got. All right, all right, cool. What could this be? Well, I know what this is, because this is something I ordered from the same place I got this. Well, I, I didn't actually get this from Kevin Cross's store because he didn't have it up at the time. I got this when he was doing a, what is that thing called, a T, uh, uh, shirt something I don't know it's some kind of t-shirt it's some kind of thing where you do like a like a crowdfunding thing for to fund t-shirts and stuff so I had that so it's been out of print for a while but now it's back on his store so check it out and I got this too from his store so let's see look at that this is the kind of cool stuff you get from Kevin Cross's store and I'll leave a link to this description my war that is his new series that he's doing right now um, and he's just kicking ass on that really cool um, so I'm more than that's that's a cool t-shirt to wear so that's awesome that I got it really nice quality um, I like it. it's nice and light I like light t-shirts but still very nice quality shirt check it out um, at Kevin Cross I'll have to leave the link because I don't know exactly it doesn't I don't know if it's I don't know if he's linked it to his website yet but it's it's on store envy kevin cross on store envy but i will leave the link but anyway yeah so he's doing this awesome uh challenge the my war challenge right now so check it out on his channel you guys all know who he is he's the one that started this whole thing so anyway speaking of this whole thing i gotta get back to what i'm doing with young and the dead so i'm gonna go up here to the parallelscope and let's see what's going on with the process of young and the dead Longtime uh, viewers of this program will probably recognize this place, Changing Hands Bookstore and First Draft, uh, what is it, it's, uh, a book bar, I guess, as the sign says. But anyway, so this is uh, where I went before to do a life drawing. Um, it's like a drink and draw slash life drawing thing. Pretty cool, they do it every month. Um, haven't been back. There's, I've missed a couple months. I don't get out there every time, but I actually, uh, a friend of mine wanted to start a... Uh, our own kind of drink and draw he just moved back from Portland and uh, so we were trying to we were you know he was asking what's around so I mentioned this place and a few other places and so we went and checked it out and it's cool you know because it, it is it's you go there and there's a, a model and it's you know it's like eight bucks or whatever you go there and you can and then you know plus whatever drinks you get and everything and you just sit there they've got the model and everything you can draw of course it's clove model because it's in a it's like in a a bookstore so but anyway so pretty cool it's but the only the only issue I guess is it's kind of quiet as you can see I mean everyone's kind of got their head down drawing or painting or whatever um, so you know obviously we're gonna still keep going to this but we I think we might try to start a second thing 
um, you know, that's more kind of just where we can talk and draw whatever, not just not just you know from a model, but whatever we're working on. Because this this is doesn't really lend itself to like conversation stuff until afterwards. So so anyway, so I did a few different sketches of the model. I did I first I started doing a little more realistic, and then I decided to kind of switch it up and do some more caricature-y stuff. Um, this is my first pass um, at that. So I did. I don't know, I did, while I was there, he, they usually, like, the model will take, like, one particular pose um, through the whole thing, and they'll take breaks and everything, so it kind of depends, sometimes you move around the angle, you got to get there a little early if you want the good angle, I noticed most of the painters with their easels get there early, so they can get that best spot right up close, so, and from my vantage point, I was a little further back, it was a little hard to see, um, but I took it from, I went from a few different angles and everything, so, yeah, that was uh, it was cool. Like I said, and afterwards we talked, and we we were talking to some other people there about you know, like I said, starting this thing. So uh, my friend Chris, which you may have seen on, I don't know, he was on a couple other blogs. He was on, he actually was on the the Artcasters once. We had him as a guest, but um, I think he's going to try to figure something out with that. But so here's the other uh, caricature one. I kind of wanted sort of an elongated version of him. Um, I think next time I'm going to bring my my copics and maybe kind of do like uh, Will Terrell used to do with the old his old sketch things and break out the copics and everything. That might be fun. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I did get my 30 minutes in, but I'm not going to show you that. I just did more work on. I finished up all the line work on that double page spread. Um, so now I'm going to get go back in with the brush and all that. But since I'm showing you drawing now, I didn't think I didn't bother to record what I did today. But I did do it, and tomorrow we'll get back into working on you know that spread, and I'll get the brush out, and that's kind of the fun part for me anyway. <laughs> I always like getting that line stuff over with, and then get to that brush work. But that's the drink and draw. Back once again to put a pin in another day of 100 days of making comics. We're going to take good old day 66. Pull it off here on the big pad. We're going to crumble it up, toss it in the garbage. Say goodbye to day 66. I'll see you tomorrow for day 67. That is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process. Now you can check out the story. Issues 1 through 3 of Young and the Dead are available at my website at cirqueworks.com. Also, follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in the series. There's much more to come.